Okay, today we're gonna make crab cakes. I love seafood and crab cakes is one of my favorites. So I've done other recipes and I kind of adjusted this to what I like. Um, it's pretty simple, um, not much you can do wrong with this one. So I have my jumbo lump crab meat that I get from Blue Runner uh, in my area. And uh, we'll get into that later. In the, in the future of where I get my seafood. So I'm just gonna run down the list. You're gonna add a third uh, of a cup of mayo, one large beaten egg, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever. You know what I mean? How do you guys say it? Worcestershire. Chance, how do you say it? Worcestershire? It's kind of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, right? Yeah, no, no one knows. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. We're gonna add a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. A few splashes of hot sauce. Then we're gonna add a little Obey, uh, or just like a teaspoon. Some pepper. And that's it. I'm gonna mix this around. Well, that's actually not it. I gotta add the panko breadcrumbs. About three fourths of a cup. So I'm not gonna add it all. I'm gonna see how this looks and then the rest probably. We have to form the cakes. I'm gonna have to get in here with my hands now. And yes, my hands are clean. Okay, yeah, this is good. You don't wanna beat it up too much because you're gonna ruin the crab. And I, you know, I like this recipe because it's just mostly crab. Um, and you can just decide what kind of size you want. Uh, in all honesty, I'm the only one that eats these in the house, so these are for me. So that's one, and then I'll just look at that one and then make the rest about the same size. So I made four with a pound of the crab meat. You could probably turn it to six smaller ones. Like I said, I'm the only one that eats these in the house, so these are for me. And I'm just gonna cook up uh, a couple of them, save the other two for later. Okay, now we're gonna just pan fry the um, crab cakes. A uh, little olive oil. And I might need to add a little more when I flip them over, but maybe not. There they go, just cooking away. Once again, you know, if you're pan frying anything, don't leave. It's not the kind of thing you can, you know, walk away from. You gotta wait around. This probably four or five minutes each side. Back in my day. Back in my day, we did not have crab cakes. That was not something we had for dinner. Um, actually, growing up, I think we ate hardly any seafood. Maybe like just haddock. Yeah, we would have haddock. I guess that was like the cheapest kind of fish to get maybe at the time. Um, but yeah, I didn't grow up eating a lot of seafood. So when, um, you know, being in the new kids, I got to travel a lot, I got to try things. So it was pretty amazing to go to places like 
Japan and try sushi, um, you know, and that was kind of even before it became like, you know, so massively popular um, in the late 80s. So, yeah, I got to try a lot of different foods and that's kind of how I started to enjoy seafood a lot from traveling and trying things. My mother always taught me to try things. So, I do, you know, try things. Just don't try anything dangerous. Okay, let's take a little peek. Oh yeah. Looking good. fantastic one of my favorite things and for me it's even better you know when I make it myself because I really just want the, the crab mostly um, so for me this is one of my favorite things to make and eat and you know I'm only doing it for myself because no one in the family has like enjoyed crab right chance no no crab just in the California roll. But you don't care if it's fake crab, right? Yeah. It's disgusting, man. I can't eat the fake crab. It's just rubbery, terrible texture. Yeah. Don't like the fake crab. It's gotta be real crab. Probably another minute and these are done. Bam, quick, quick to make, quick to cook, and then you can just uh, enjoy your evening. This could be a nice um, romantic dinner, you know, for two. The appetizer. I don't have any romantic dinners, especially during the quarantine. One of my quotes is, at least someone's getting some action. Donut and Biggie going at it. Getting some action. Not this guy, okay. I would say these are done. Turn off the heat. Put it on the plate to drain. Off the excess oil. Take the pan off the heat. A little salt. Little pepper and ready to go. You can eat it with tartar sauce, whatever you like, but there it is, man. One of my favorite things, crab cakes, and they're just for me. I'm gonna go enjoy these. The wood works.